Hello everyone on YouTube, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about the record player tone arm. And, and the actual thing I want to talk about is what happens when you actually touch the tone arm. <coughs> Sorry about that. So, uh, sometimes whenever I'm doing the record player and stuff and I'm removing the record off the turntable and somehow... And that's actually what happened to my Beethoven record when I accidentally scratched part of it, was I was moving the record off the, the turntable, trying to get the needle to its position. And then I was trying to grab the lever and accidentally touched the tone arm. So here's what happens when you touch the tone arm. It does that. It'll... And like I said, this is these videos are not meant for any violations or anything. So I'm just trying to be friendly about that. But anyways, that is actually how. That's what happens when you actually touch the tone arm of the record player. So um, that's basically it. And that's what happens when you touch the tone arm. Now, you can actually do this either way. Now, I'm going to put this needle back into its position. Now, that's another thing I want to talk about too. Is the, That's another thing about the tone arm is... When you want to play your record, how can you do it without messing up your records if you want to do it manually? So just do like this, lift up your needle, and then move it to the turntable. It'll start. Nope. One thing you don't want to do, hold on. Go ahead and turn that down. Place it to the turntable and drop it. And you can do it that way. The way I do it mainly is I just from the turntable position. And this also goes to how you can do the needle on your record player. <coughs> the way I do it is I just use the lever and then move the <coughs> Sorry about that. Move the tone arm into position and then drop the needle. That's how I play my records. And then you can also do the same thing. You can just move your... Make sure that doesn't scratch the record. And then move your needle to position over the turntable. And then there you go. And that's how you do it. And that is how you adjust your record player needle. And how you what happens whenever you move the tone arm on the record player. So thanks for watching and more to come later.